Hi, my name is Shungda. Today I want to explain you how to get the ISO 25 settings with the May 15th, 2012 build. So ISO 25 is a nice setting because it lowers your ISO further down from 100 to ISO 25 because the standard is ISO 100. Uh, I'm using a 550D now and it actually it's a nice new feature because lowering the ISO make me or makes it easier to shoot in very bright condition without having to increase the aperture nor have to increase the shutter speed. Because adding shutter speed you can get like stuttery movement while increasing the ISO number would get you a bigger depth of field or yeah, bigger depth of field and loosen the nice blurred effect or cinematic look. So with the ISO 25 uh, it's a simple setting you just have to change uh, you just have to know what buttons to press to get that so here we go into the menu and I'll explain you how to do it so here we are looking at the monitor so here you can see we're using ISO 100 it's now slightly overexposing and basically we're at uh, aperture 1.8 and shutter speed 33 basically in a moment when we hit ISO 25 it's going to be pretty dark so you might not be able to see a lot so basically uh, I can't go any lower with the aperture or I could go still slightly lower with the shutter speed though um, so here we go uh, the ISO 25 so basically we'll go into the magic lantern menu so here on the menu you can see which build I'm on I'm on May 15, 2012. Uh, this build can actually found, be found on the Google forum uh, or Wikia forum. And yeah, it's quite hard to find it nowadays. So um, I'm actually not sure if I could would be able to find it and uh, put a link to it. So here we go to the exposure menu and then go directly to the ISO press the Q button on the back of your camera and you get a special ISO menu and to get actually the lowest ISO you have to set the analog ISO of course to the lowest ISO it would not work if you have like ISO 400 on the analog so set the analog to ISO 100 and then go down here to digit ISO gain and then press the left arrow button on the back of your camera to lower it to ISO or basically lower it to minus 2.0 EV and on top the equivalent ISO changes to 25 and let's go out of the menu now you can see it's gone way darker and also here below you will see that the number has changed to 25. It's now using ISO 25. It's still 1.8 uh, shutter speed of 33. And basically, you can see it's now really dark. And yeah, it's now on ISO 25 basically. The only thing with this uh, setting is it has a slight color cost of a greenish tint. However, it's not extreme noticeable. Uh, noticeable on certain things. Uh, However, you can easily color correct it with a color correction tool in any editing software. So it's not something big to worry about. And yeah, that was mainly it. Now you know how to get the ISO 25 and um, basically lower the ISO settings on your Magic Lantern hacked camera and basically sh be able to shoot in brighter conditions without having to use an ND filter or without having to amp your aperture number to a higher number or use a high shutter speed while getting negative effect from that. So that was mainly it and hopefully you find this tip quite useful and if you have any questions comment below if you like to see more future videos on me please subscribe and I hope to see you next time so bye bye